Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone. Right now I'm reviewing Transformers Alternators. Mirage. Mirage transforms into a Ford GT. It's actually licensed, or at least it was actually licensed by Ford. But I know that license is probably over with because this toy is over 10 years old. The packaging I did not keep in a good place, so it is nasty. Here is the underbelly of said packaging right there. There is no real bio, but around this time when they started doing this whole bubble thing, they did start putting like a little bio sentence. And that's all the story they could give us. Unfortunately, these packagings, or this type of packaging they used in, in the later years of alternators, is not collector's friendly. So once you cut that off, that's pretty much that right there. If I'm not mistaken, and I hope I'm not mistaken, and I'm giving somebody else the credit, but I believe Alan Superquad Greenwood helped me get this guy. He is, or used to be, heavily into alternators back then. And he had an extra one. But I bought it from Toy Wiz. And it came without the engine. And you know, alternators' engines transforms into the weapon. Or weapons, in this case. So... They gave me the runaround, made me return a figure, and then they returned it back to me without giving me a new one or replacing the weapons. But he was able to help me out. So I thank him for that. But Mirage is freaking beautiful. Look at the license plate right there. So a lot of stuff that third party is doing right now, they got from here. And the stuff that Repro Labels is doing. Repro Labels got really big during the time this was released. Or these were out. And this thing is awesome. These used to be $20. I know I've said that a bunch of times. But I know I've gotten a bunch of new subscribers. Look at the details and the lights and whatnot. All these parts in a $20 figure. This thing is heavy. Even without die cast. This was my favorite alternator of like all times back then. That's why the pain is rubbing off and whatnot because I played with this thing a lot. And I don't know how I got that dig on stress mark. But it looks very nice. Features this fake scaring, this fake steering gimmick right there. This trunk, or whatever you call this. I, the engine is in the back, so I'm going to guess the trunk opens up with a little bit of detail up in there the doors open come on I usually put my finger in there fingernail in there and the doors do open and it has detailed interior if you have a human alliance figure they can fit up in there the feet can fit in there there you go with that like no real paint the dashboard is silver but that's about that oh no there's paint right there but the seats aren't painted but there you go with that cleans up super nice on the bottom besides the visible hands right there but it's pretty much closed in and this rear section opens up too, revealing the engine detail. I'm not, I think it's supposed to open up like this, but I'm not sure. But that is a loose connector right there. And I believe it got loose over time because, like I said, I've been playing with this. Rubber tires rolls awesomely. And there you go with that right there. Check this out. Look what we used to get in 2006. <sighs> 20 bucks. 20 bucks. You can get this. Now, $70. Depending on where you buy it, $80. You're getting this. Way more 
moving parts in this thing right here rubber tires chrome i mean these are painted well from takara told me but ugh. reflective mirrors did i talk about that oh lord i wish i, I wish i could teleport back in time and tell hasbro to start making this stuff early transformation first thing i always typically do is open the doors on alternators doors are the enemy with alternators then wherever the gun is just remove that get out of here come on set that to the side lift that up out of the way i typically like to go for the legs first so in this case open these panels up i believe these shift forward like that I haven't transformed this guy in a while and I'm doing it now from memory. Separate that. Move this out of the way right here, these lights. Out of the way. Actually, you can go ahead and rotate that now. And now these need to detach from here on both sides. Rotate that out. Rotate this out. Shut that. Bring the foot down like this. Rotate it that way. Pull out the heel spur. Shut that. Bring the foot down. Rotate it. Heel spur. Now this comes this way, and that comes this way, and all of that rotates this way. Now, this stuff, let's bend that in like that. Go ahead and lift this up and out of the way right there. Lift the arms up, the, the little stirring gimmick connects right there so you need to lift that up and out of the way then this down and rotate that around rotate the hand bring it on down and bend the door back like that same stuff lift that up off that little hinge bring that up bring that down flip it around hand around bring it on down bring this down like that Okay, the head. You could just leave it like this, but I did that to make it non-visible in car mode. Bring this on over. This hinge comes up like that. And you could flip this down like that. But I don't think that I leave it like that. I typically wind up leaving it like this. But let's put it like that to make a different one. And... The back. Oh lord, the back. The back needs to fold up. Like, push these doors up. I mean, doors, seats. And this back needs to fold up. In here, there are a bunch of little hinges. You need to mess around with that. Get them kind of in this orientation. And then shove that up under there. So, yeah. Now, pretty much, you're done. You just need to do some cleaning. Like, these panels come up. And this has been a frustrating piece of this transformation. They're supposed to line up with, with that right there. The hood is supposed to line up with this right here but it doesn't peg in at all and that is frustrating so yeah alternators has not aged well this was my favorite guy back then but when i played with him years later i realized oh miss this thing is it's, it's frustrating <laughs> but here you have Alternators, Mirage, in his robot mode.
Okay, I cleaned him up a little bit off camera. Phew. This guy was my favorite because unlike all the other alternators, he has all the articulation I wanted a lot of the other ones to have. He has everything. He has ankle pivot, feet go forward and back, thigh swivel or above the knee swivel, hips that go both directions, knees that bend 90, he has a waist rotation, double jointed elbows, hands rotate, and they they open up all in one piece. No, they actually have the, the trigger finger right there. Bicep swivel, the arms can go forward also because of the transformation joint. Oh, and the shoulders can go out like that so you can aim all the way out to the side if he needs to. And the head can look up and turn left and right. So none of the other alternators had all of that articulation that I can think of. Well, actually, you know what? The prowl mold had that articulation, but ugh, his legs were wonky. But these legs are kind of wonky too. They, uh, the problem with alternators is kibble, 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 kibble. This never sits up here in a way that's good for me. I mean, I guess you could push these doors out. Or I keep calling them doors. Seats out to hold that into place a little bit better. Yeah, that works. I don't think I ever thought about that in over 10 years. <laughs> and what I did with the chest, since it doesn't connect, I just fold these flaps onto the in inner trunk area. Put this over and this little dangly piece that was in front of the crotch, I fold it up underneath of the, the belly like that. And that's what I tend to like right there. I know it just looks like a robot. A car exploded into a robot. <laughs> and that that is definitely what it looks like. That's kind of, the movie designs kind of went with stuff like this. But they cleaned it up and made them look more human. But it, they look like... Our robot with car parts just attached to them. Now the weapons. This engine separates. This little handle comes down. And that's one gun. This little handle comes down and that's another. Here's a system that they should use now but they don't. The peg is on the back. It slots and back there and the fingers cover it. I don't know why they don't use that method. I didn't even remember they did this with this figure till just now. Because most of them use the current masterpiece method where the peg is in the side. But here's what he looks like with these guns right there. And I brought the brightness down so you can see the guns just a little bit better. But I didn't show off the waist. It does have a waist. Actually, I didn't even show off the articulation. I talked about it. The knees do bend. This ankle pivot works like that. It can go down and come up a little bit. I did show off the arms. But he is still a good robot once you clean up this chest area. The backpack, you can't do anything with that besides what I just showed. I mean, here's what he looks like from the back. But, man, I really still like this guy. Here he is next to Ocular Max Sphinx. Thank you, Max. And alternators are not only bigger in vehicle mode, but they're definitely massive in robot mode, especially compared to, like, an alternate, and, uh, I mean, a Masterpiece-style figure or Masterpiece-style equivalent. Now, this D has a lot of die cast, so I don't know who's heavier, but there you go with that. So you can see where they're going for as far as color scheme and design. The face does have those vents on the side, but the face is dramatically different from the, the typical G1 cartoon Mirage face. Speaking of the face, they went with yellow eyes. I guess the original toy probably had that. 
they have silver outlined all up there and on the vents. But that's his head. The head is massively covered by the back of his kibble and whatnot. But it's still good. You can see that silver Autobot logo right there. These doors are posable, so you can do what you want. You can leave them up like that, put them back like this if you want. They can't fold in, but they droop down. You could honestly, let's see, no, no you can't. I mean, you could make his arms sort of like this. This will probably make you think of Robots in Disguise Blur. I think his arms are like this. But some figure recently arms is like this, if you want. But, nee, I don't like that too much. In fact, I do like that flared out wing design that I, I just did. I like the way that looks. It gets all that kibble out the way since... He already has this big backpack right there that's covering the natural outline of his body. So, ugh, that is the most unfortunate part about him, is this stupid backpack. If they could have came up with a way to make this fold on top of it itself, and maybe wrap around, maybe wrap this around or something like that. But I guess they didn't want to make it too complicated than this already is. And they, pro they probably didn't want to add to the piece count. But I still like this toy. I don't know whether you like it. Let me know in the comments. Because <laughs> he is rather dated by today's standards, unfortunately. But anywho, if you like this video and you want to see older toys or more old toys, let me know in the comments. I'm going to do them regardless, so. I'm just being nice by asking y'all to tell me in the comments. <laughs> Until next time, T-Man 978, out of here. Thank you for watching.